Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So, today has been an interesting day. In that, um, turns out I have an exam tomorrow and I was not aware of it. Uh, from all the car trouble, I missed a lot of school and unfortunately I was not aware that I have an exam tomorrow. So, before I go off and study for that, uh, luckily enough, it's not a really high stakes exam, meaning, uh, she drops the lowest one, so, I mean, I'm not. I'd like to do well, so I am going to study, so that way I don't, it's not an all or nothing on the last three, but I thought, i quickly do, well, quickly, <laughs> I my like my vlogs ever go quick, um, quickly just to update you guys and read your comments and have a smoke, so. What I'm having is a Hoya de Monterey Excalibur. Uh, so I've had these before and I really enjoy them. So a quick couple updates. Uh, all my computer stuff is shipped, I believe, or is in... Shit. Out of fuel. <laughs> that took a while. I, I love the Prometheus and that it just takes forever to run out of fuel. Luckily I still got it fueling this little guy. Running out of fuel, live on camera. Uh, nothing more professional, right? Looks like you gotta lay it with this little guy. Okay. So, man, I, I gotta fix this computer. All my computer parts are shipped. Um, or at least m most of them. Uh, no, the desk and the case are shipped and the screen. So, those, those are shipped. Uh, I need all the guts for the, the case. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting those. And actually, I'm going to bring in something new to this vlog. I'm going to do two videos on this vlogging channel. Um, or one. I might combine both the... I'm going to do the computer build also on this channel. Uh, as I build a computer. <laughs> uh, I figured that might be something that you guys might want to watch. Uh, and I'll be doing this... I'll probably tack on the... I might just do this vlog and then tack on at the end the video of me doing the computer stuff. Um, oh yeah, I ordered my very first box of cigars. I I usually just buy samplers or just go to the local store. But I decided I'm going to buy a box because they, these I really enjoy. And uh, so I figured I'm going to buy a box. And I bought a box of Blanco 9s and in Inland Cerro. So... Uh, those are really good. If you haven't tried them, I definitely recommend you try them out. Um, what else did I buy? I bought a new jacket, and I bought a, I bought two new ashtrays. Um, mostly because the ashtray that I have really kind of sucks. And you're probably wondering, how can an ashtray suck? It's an ashtray. <laughs> um, it sucks because uh, if you have company, it, it it's supposed to hold, you know, S3 fingers for three cigars, so if you, know, you have company, you got three cigars. It does not hold three cigars worth of ash. So I got a Padron ashtray, uh, the, the uh, Family Reserve Crystal, nice, beautiful ashtray for my for my coffee table, and then uh, for my desk, my new desk, I'm getting one of those giants. You know, even it has three three fingers, but it's really deep. It's like a giant deep bowl, so that way I can have my cigars while working on the computer and stuff. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm getting a new mouse pad too. I'm getting a Kirkus Cigars mouse pad. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, doing all that. Quick update on things that happened to me today.
I kind of fucked up my back and my right ankle. I was hitting today, and I rolled my ankle, and then I tried to to um, compensate so I don't fall over. And I kind of jerked my back, and I pulled something in my back. So, yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, yeah, can't catch a break with the injuries. Uh, but that's enough of that. That's enough of my life. Uh, let's move on to reading some of your comments. And I have a feeling that this is going to be long because I actually got a good question. Well, it's a good question. And it's uh, because most people get... Most people get this wrong. Uh, then again, I don't know if this is a joke or not. So, most people... Because it's... So common that it gets wrong. It's like he might be joking, but he might also. Uh. So here we go. Let's just start off with. Uh, we'll save that one for the end because that one's gonna might be a long one because I might need a pen and a piece of paper for that one. And these are all from the Fraternal Order of Cigars and Pipes from Rory, over there. Um, he says on my blog from yesterday. He says, I just got this this computer that I'm on now, and I'm not happy with it. I wish I had gotten an HP. Um, HPs, I, 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 I have no personal experience with them. I, I have worked on one. I have not used one. I, I fixed a screen on one. I can tell you they're a pain in the ass to fix. Well, then again, I've only done two, so... My Dell laptop is pretty easy. Uh, Dell is pretty easy to fix. Um, like the other one. I wish I got an HP like the other one. Because the webcam I'm using for making my videos has... I use for making my... has super cool effects. This one does not. So it's old, old webcam does better. Uh, I don't know if there's a software or program that can be installed for that. I'm going to... But I'm going to check with Geek Squad at Best Buy where I got this. I'm not getting new video alerts in my subscription page. They should tell me when, when, you're up, when you've uploaded a new one. So I'm having to click onto your channel to see if you've posted. So I'm staying one step ahead of YouTube and doing the work myself because I don't want to miss anything from any of the channels that of yours that I'm subscribed to. Thank you so much for, for keeping up with the channel. Um... The problem with the subscription thing, that's on YouTube's end. Uh, so you, I think you have to go to... Uh, trying to think of where you go. Uh, let's see. Actually, I think I might be able to find it. Uh, let's go to Creator Studios. Um... Channel, let's see, no, uh, community, nope, uh, wait, is it, would it be my, my subscriptions? Let's go to, I'm going to help you solve this problem. Um, oh, manage subscriptions, it's, it's, um, up the side panel, you know, where you got home, my channel subscription history, watch later. Go all the way down to the bottom. It says manage my subscriptions. Um, and it would be on my other channel. Uh, but I think from there, you can be able to uh, make sure you get alerts from each channel uh, in order to keep up with the channel. So uh, I think you need to go there to do that. Um, in, in terms of your webcam... Um, if you the maybe just, just it came with effects before. Uh, I personally have no idea. That, I mean, the best recommendation I can tell you is that the soft probably just invest in some editing software, um, like uh, like Sony Vegas, which is what I use. I don't use the pro version because the pro version is like five hundred bucks. So like. Sony Vegas version, I use the old version, the 2011 version, and it works well enough for me to edit in effects, and it was like around like 100 bucks, um, 
that might be my best advice. I don't know. Probably Geek Squad has a better answer for you than I do. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but that was just my, my thoughts on that. Uh, then he also left a comment on my Dragon Untold review back on the Angry Critic. It's taking a while to load. So we're going to go on to his comment on the Give me one second. How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Okay. His comment on my Bad Santa review, he said, I saw Bad Santa and even liked it. As a kid at heart, I still watch all the shows at Christmas every single year. Rudolph, Frosty, Santa Claus, is coming to town, Charlie Brown Christmas, Heather Grinch stole Christmas, and yes, Jim Carrey. <laughs> that I gave us a thumbs down to. Although I had a few great, decent scenes, lines, uh, uh, nothing beats the original animated show. Yes, the original animated Grinch is so much better than the Jim Carrey version. I'll agree with you there. Um, Bad Santa, I really did enjoy. <laughs> that was funny. Um, I'm not a very big Christmas person. Um, believe it or not, I'm more of a Halloween person. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I still do watch all the Christmas shows, too. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, the only thing I liked about the Jim... Uh, Actually, what's funny is that I really am a big fan of the pretty, uh, the pretty reckless, uh, which Taylor Momsen is the front woman of the band, and Taylor Momsen is the person who played Cindy Lou Who in The Grinch with Jim Carrey. So I'm sure, uh, if if go and Google the pretty reckless, and and Taylor Momsen now, then look at her when The Grinch came out. Um. I'm sure she might regret some of those. Or, uh, uh, no, you can't really... I don't like to give too much... I don't know. She, some of those might be embarrassing pictures for her. But we all have very embarrassing pictures from our childhood. Um... This was a great review. Thank you so much. I can't get over how much you look like a kid. Yes, it's amazing how much a year, a year and a beard and goatee help. <laughs> Wait, a beard and goatee are the same thing. It's been a long night. A beard and mustache help. In terms of how old you look. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I love the ending when you threw the papers up. Classic. Thank you so much. Um, I have to remember to. Uh, I kind of do different endings each. Um, I kind of settle into one ending, but I might bring that back because that kind of forgot I did that, and I I forgot how good it looked. It's been uh, it's been how long since I released that video? October twelfth of last year. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, video will be up tonight for the Angry Critic, and we're going to edit that soon. Uh, so that's the bet, his comment on Bad Santa. Uh, Dracula Untold, he left a comment on this, too. Hi, doing, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Angry Critic. Sorry, that's my video playing in the background. Uh, I've only seen a few versions of Dracula, just having watched, for the first time ever, the classic Bela Lugosi films. A few years ago, I actually still have to see those. I really want to. Uh, I think my first ever Dracula movie was with Frank Langella as the Prince of Darkness. I want to see that as well, which is a very good film. But Gary Oldman's version with Winona, 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 Winona Ryder. Oh God, I'm gonna, I'm bad with names. Uh, was by far the scariest. Uh, I. I even like the cigar smoking scene too. Yes, I, I yes, that was a really good movie. I, I I did see the Gary Oldman version. I really enjoyed Gary Oldman as an actor. Um, he's one of my in my definitely top ten actors to watch. Um, Tom Hanks being my favorite actor. Um, so that was his comment on my. Uh, on the Dracula Untold review, and now, he left a comment on my Why I Told Tutoring 
less than simplifying x plus y to all divided by y. Um, okay, so it's taking so much longer to. Okay, here we go. Can you simplify this? The sum of the square roots of any two sides of an isosceles triangle is equal to the square root of the remaining side. Uh, are you talking about Pythagorean theorem? Uh, let me, because that's um, that's the two sides of the triangle. You know, the first side squared plus the second side squared equals the hypotenuse squared. So it's not the square root; it's the square. So it looks like this. Well, uh, the this is the hypotenuse. Uh, this is for the uh, one side, and then the other side. Both of them squared equals the um, equals the square of the hypotenuse. So, is that what you're talking about? Because you can't if you distribute. You can't distribute a square root. So, if, say, if you were to simplify this, sorry, this is going to get technically a little bit mathematic. Okay. See if I can get it to focus. If you were to do that and square both sides, you'd cancel the square root on this side. Whoop, 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 on the other side. You can cancel the square root on this side. So this so it just becomes C. This becomes C equals a square root of A squared plus B squared. So the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of one side squared plus the other side squared. And you can't distribute that square root across addition because if you did, then it'd just be C equals A plus B. And if you do, and if, it, if you write that, a a triangle. In order for a triangle to exist, the hypotenuse, which is C, has to be less than the sum of both of its sides. So if you say C equals A plus B, then a triangle can't exist. So that's why you can't di just distribute that across the difference. That's why you can't do this. So you, you actually can't do that, or else you get C equals A plus B, which we know if we know the what how to make a triangle. Trying to get this in camera. Oh, there we go. See how I so I'll circle it. So that has to be true for a triangle to exist. So for a triangle to exist, that thing has to be true. So if we actually distribute across, and this, so if we distribute the square root across the addition, we actually get c equals a plus b, which we can't, or else that means basically triangles don't exist. <laughs> um, I know that that was kind of a long-winded explanation, so. Basically, did you mean c squared equals a? The hypotenuse squared equals the sum um, equals each side squared squared added together. Um, yeah, this the hypotenuse squared equals once uh, the sum of each side, both of them being squared. So the hypotenuse squared equals the first side squared plus the second side squared. There we go. Um, yeah, so. Um, 
But yeah, that's uh, so that's all for reading the comments. The Fraternal Order of Cigars and Pipes. His link will be in the description down below to his channel. Go over there and check them, check him out. Thank you for leaving a comment. Always welcome. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.